G'day people, so welcome to another episode of uh, Oz Romas. Got the day off, so working on the van today, and we are installing a scupper vent. For those who are unaware of what these are, this is like a manual sort of um, roof vent that helps uh, pressurize the van when traveling, I guess, uh, along either on the bitumen or dirt roads, dusty roads, red dirt, whatever you like. There's uh, a few sort of uh, automatic systems that you can get for caravans these days, like Dometic make one, uh, Caravan. They probably do work a whole lot better than these manual ones, but they come at a price. Um, so we're pretty happy with um, our armor light at the moment. It, it doesn't ingress too much dust, but I think this is just gonna be a little great addition to the roof. Um, just when we want to travel on those uh, dusty dirt roads, we'll pop this open, the air flows in, pressurizes the, the internals of the caravan and uh, should stop all that, that dust getting in. So yeah, we'll head up on the roof, sort of show you how I've marked it out and, um, and a bit of the process of cutting a hole in the roof of our caravan. <laughs> So we're up on the roof now. Um, I've marked out the the interior part of the scupper vent. This is the interior trim that goes up from underneath to join the, the top hatch. Uh, it's uh, 200 by 110, so I've marked that out. Drilled four holes in the corners. Um, drilled a center hole, went inside and, and checked that we were all in the right area, um, that I wasn't going through any lights and, and all that sort of stuff. So um, yeah, four holes in the corners. Now I'm gonna cut this, um, I think with like a little hacksaw or, or uh, maybe an angle grinder or something like that. Um, the top first, then the bottom. I'll cut a little bit and start having a look inside, make sure there's no wiring. There is a few lights in the roof, but um, the wiring does head back to over the other side. So I'm pretty confident that, that there'll be no wiring in the roof. But yeah, you, you gotta check that. Um, location. For this, we, we chose this um, this left hand, the passenger side corner, um, so that it was a bit more strength in the roof rather than putting it in the center. That's the whole reason why we just went in the corner here. Um, so yeah, I'll, um, I'll get to cutting this up now and uh, yeah, we'll uh, have a look and make sure we're in the right spot. <laughs> Woo, cutting the van. So Matt has cut a hole and um, ah! <laughs> almost out. <laughs> before the roof of the van there's foam timber all sorts of layers yeah it's now it's just a matter of fixing the plastic cover making sure it fits <laughs> a little bit of fine tuning but I think you've got it this time Get in there, a little bit of trimming at the top and that'll slip in just really, really nicely. Happy? Yeah. So we've uh, moved along a couple of hours. The sun is actually starting to beam here, so I'm gonna give it a rest um, for a couple of hours. 
as people know, um, caravan roofs are made up of, you know, fiberglass, timber, urethane sealer, all that sort of thing. So when I cut this, I noticed that, um, you know, the edging of where this urethane uh, sealer was, that it was sort of come away a little bit. So I resealed all the edge, top and bottom, and just got two bits of plywood inside and outside and just sandwiched it together um, where I put my bead around top and bottom just to hold these these roof sheets back to where they should be and get a nice uh, solid edge leave it for maybe this afternoon depends or maybe tomorrow morning I'll pull this apart and then we'll have a good foundation to bolt the scup event or screw the scup event to and also seal on the inside so yeah we're getting out of the sun it's pumping g'day g'day so it's the next morning um yesterday when we cut the roof we uh we definitely noticed that um some parts of the roof as they're held together by like a, a bonding agent or sealer um just on our cut line it sort of separated a little bit so we weren't in a hurry i i resealed it all and um and cut a couple of bits of plywood as like, and acted like a big sandwich so one at the top here and one on the underside inside the van and used uh, some big long threads and, and sort of pulled it all back together. Um, it didn't come apart much, but I really wanted to just get that edge and stick it back close. And um, and yeah, it should offer, you know, a better a better sort of seal and stuff in the future. So I'll get that bit of timber off now and, uh, and we'll have a look and see what it's done. These threads were much, much longer than, than what I needed, but it was just what I found. So I just undo these nuts. And there's another bit of this ply up in, in the inside of the van. So as you can see, I've got um, the urethane in there. I probably went way overboard, but uh, that's what you do when you want to make things um, really nice yourself. So I'll, um, I'll get a Stanley knife and cut all this away this morning. And, um, and that's a really good solid sort of edging now uh through this area that it won't separate um you know the rest of the roof's really good up through all all around basically but just when we cut those edges you can see it there there's a sealer it just sort of pulled away a little bit so i just went to town squirted a heap in there and now it's like a a really good thick sort of sandwich again so I'll trim all that away and then we'll start putting the um putting the uh the inner sort of flashing on and then, um, and then the top vent. So I've trimmed all the sealer away um, from the inside. There wasn't too much. Um, I've got the uh, internal flashing uh, poking up through from the inside of the van. So I'll just turn this camera around. We can check it out. So these um, internal flashings, they come at just a standard length. And obviously if your roof is, uh, you know, not the right thickness, you just got to trim it down. So as you can see, I marked it with a red texture. I'll pop it out um, and trim it to the roof. Then we'll put the um, screw, the, uh, the actual scupper vent to the roof. When I, and after I, I seal it all around with uh, some Sikaflex and then um, refit this back up again from the inside. Yeah, there's a seal that I cut out. Wasn't a lot, doesn't matter about the waste. It's, um, it should be good though, um, yeah, when it all goes back together. So there you go, I've got it screwed down. As you can see, um, I just used a screwdriver instead of like an, uh, you know, a, a cordless drill with a screwdriver bit or something like that. I just found that I could feel, um, you know, it biting into the, the fiberglass and the timber a whole lot easier and not, um, not spinning them loose. And you could definitely then see the sealer come out. Um, so I've taped it up. I'll just do a nice little sealer job around there, not like, um, this factory stuff, I don't know what they were thinking when they do that sort of sort of crazy sealer, but I'll just mask it up, do it a little bit over the top of um, all the screws, and then um, that's the outside, and then we'll we'll head in inside to uh, do the the flashing.
So we just come inside. There we go. It's probably a bit of a crazy camera angle, but lots and lots of sealant come through um, up in that inside uh, corner. So what I've done, just smoothed it all, just, you know, pushed it all into the wood and, uh, and the roof just to add extra, extra strength and stuff like that. So now I just cut the uh, internal trim, so I'll um, start to fit that up and and then um, yeah, just put two little screws in it. That's all it's going to take, just as a, a flashing. So here we go, back up on the roof and um, finish the uh, the job. So I'll spin the camera around again. You can just take a look. I think masking it up and and doing the things a little bit nicer um, instead of just having all this sealer and urethane and that just everywhere. I guess just makes it a bit better. Check it out. Just heading inside, it's a bit messy in here. It's finished off pretty good. There's only two little screws that the flashing has to put in, so it's a tiny little gap around there. I'm not sort of too worried about it. I don't want to put any too much pressure on it or another screw. It's only sort of a light plastic. I think it'll crack pretty easy. It's a bit hard to do this camera review. But yeah, a little bit of sealer, so it all sort of matches up. I think it's come up pretty good. Thanks for watching uh, this episode, guys, um, of the, the SCUP event install. We're not on the road yet, so we'll be able to give you a um, an update when we get moving um, as to, you know, how it reduces, you know, sort of any dust in here, pressurizing the cabin of the caravan. So um, yeah, if you like the video, hit the like and subscribe. And um, yeah, just keep watching and we'll, we'll get some more videos up soon.